Hey everyone, welcome back to Hackwood. Today, we're diving into the much anticipated placement season for the computer science students. Whether you target in Taiwan, Tai 2 or Tai 3 companies, we got you covered. We also talk about the offers, interview rounds, expectations, and how to face those nerve wracking interviews. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about the types of companies you'll encounter during the placement season. Companies are generally classified into three types or we can say tires. So tire one companies, these are the top gains like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook. They offer high salary packages, excellent work culture, and a lot of growth opportunities. Tire two companies, these include the well-known companies like Cisco, Oracle, and Adobe. So they offer good compensation and great learning experiences. Tire three companies, so these are the startup and smaller companies that offer uh, lower packages, but can provide a substantial hands-on experience and learning. So now let's discuss about the offer policies. So typically, universities have a policy where the students can accept only one offer from a Taiwan or Tai two companies. So this means that if you get an offer from the Taiwan company, you're likely not allowed to uh, sit for any other company's interviews. So however, if you receive an offer from the Tai two company uh, at the first place, uh, so you might have an option to interview the Taiwan companies depending on your university's rules. So. So next step, the interview process. The most companies uh, have a multi-round interview process, uh, which generally includes the first is aptitude test. So this is a filtering round. So companies use this to access your problem solving skills, logical reasoning, and sometimes basic coding skills. Some companies may require a minimum CTPA to even sit for this test. So that's why we have a CTPA filtration as the first phase. And the next is technical interviews. These rounds focus on your core computer science knowledge, expect the questions on data structures, algorithms, station design, and sometimes domain specific questions depending on the company. Next is scoring rounds. So here you'll be asked to solve problems, typically coding problems. So this can be on the whiteboard, uh, online platforms, or even live coding sessions. Next is HR interview. The finally, the HR round assesses your fit within the company culture so questions here involve around your resume, projects, and behavioral aspects. Now, what do companies expect from you? Here are a few tips. So first is strong fundamentals. Be thorough with your data structures and algorithms. Next is the problem solving skills. So practice coding problems regularly, and websites like Lead Code, Hacker Rank, and Code Forces are the great tools for this. So next is communication skills. Clearly explain your thought process during the interviews. This is the crucial in technical and HR rounds. So next is the project experience. So showcase uh, your relevant projects in the resume. So it demonstrates your practical knowledge and problem solving capabilities. So next is facing interviews. This can be daunting, but here there are some few tips to help you prepare. So first is the mock interviews. So practice the mock interviews. So you can do this with your friends or use platforms like Pramp. And next is uh, you should brush up your basics. So before the interview, Revise the basic concepts and common algorithms. And then you, you have to stay calm during the interview. So during the interview, uh, what keeps you succeeded is like staying calm and composed. So if you don't know uh, an answer, it's okay to admit it and explain how you'd approach finding a solution. The next is to ask questions. At the end of the interview, don't hesitate to ask questions. It shows your interest in the company and the role. And there you have it a complete guide to navigating the placement season. Remember, preparation is key and confidence is the best companion. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the Hackword for more such insights. Good luck with your placements.